Hello Aries, welcome to a love reading. This is going to be the next three months in love. Uh, what do you need to know about what's coming towards you in love? You know, what is important for you to know or what should you know? Um, and who you might be dealing with. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading. So it will not resonate with every Aries watching. So take what resonates for you. What applies to your situation and leave the rest. You can also check out your other placements for additional messages. I have all of the playlists for each sign linked in the description box if you're curious. So let's jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides. Messages, please, for Aries. What does Aries need to know regarding love in the next three months? What can Aries expect in the next three months, Spirit, regarding love for Aries? For Aries, what can Aries expect for the next three months? What can Aries expect? Secret admirer, you've caught someone's eye. What can Aries expect? Broken silence, honesty, courage, expression, open up, be vulnerable, and express your true feelings. Broken silence. So again, the, I feel like these go together. Someone has been admiring you from afar or keeping tabs on you, secretly um, interested in you or wanting you. And maybe it's time for them to break that silence and come forward. Maybe that's what we can expect here in the next three months. We'll see what else we get. What else? What else for Aries? What can we expect for Aries regarding love? In the next three months. What can Aries expect, Spirit? In the next three months regarding love for Aries. What can Aries expect? In the next three months. What can Aries expect? Can Aries expect? All right, Aries, let's see what to expect or what you can expect in the next three months. Three of Pentacles, reverse, the Hierophant, reverse, Taurus energy there. What you need to know. Eight of Cups, reverse. What in the world? Three of Swords, reverse. And who you might be dealing with. Three of Wands, Queen of Cups. Once again, I feel like this is somebody that is watching you from afar and is interested in you, has feelings for you from afar. The overall energy is the chariot reverse cancer energy. So feelings of being stuck, something not moving forward, something not progressing, um, something de paused, delayed. We'll see. Now this three of pentacles reverse, three of swords reverse, the hierophant reverse. I'm starting to think there could be a third party here. We'll see. Spirit, can we get some clarity, please, for Aries? Can you help us clarify these energies for Aries? Well, let's start in the what to expect here. Three of Pentacles reverse uh, in the higher font reverse. Why is the Three of Pentacles reverse with the higher font reverse? What's going on here? Five of Swords. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Reverse with the Hierophant. Reverse. King of Cups. The Hierophant again at the bottom of the deck. Maybe this person is secretly admiring you, Aries, because they should not be with you or shouldn't be doing what they're doing. I have a feeling this is someone that already has responsibilities, commitments. Um, and I feel like they're, they're watching you, but they shouldn't be keeping tabs on you, but they shouldn't be having feelings for you, but they shouldn't be. Could be dealing with a cancer Pisces Scorpio here. Tell me uh, more about this three of pentacles reverse with the higher font reverse. This could also be that, um, Maybe a commitment isn't doing so well. Four of Swords. 
Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, let's say you're not dealing with a third party, which I'm starting to think that that there's a third party here. But we'll let's say that there's not. Let's say that this is perhaps a connection that you have um, in the next three months. Um, this connection is not doing well or things are not working out. There could be a broken commitment. You could be deceived or ghosted. Because I have the four of swords here, five of swords, king of, you know, but the king of cups is what throws me off. Um, because if you are breaking up with someone, let's say if there is a separation or a disconnect in the next three months, why is the king of cups here? You know, why are things stuck? Why is this the overall energy if that is the case? That's why I'm starting to think that this is a situation where... The person that's interested in you is involved with someone else or you are involved with someone else and interested in another person. Let's look at this chariot reverse. Tell me about the chariot reverse. Now we can get a little bit more insight here. Why is the chariot reverse? No movement here. Okay, justice, Libra energy. Why is the chariot reverse? So it's almost like justice is here um, because something maybe shouldn't have stopped or ended or something shouldn't be stuck. Tell me about the chariot reverse. Why is the chariot reverse? Ace of swords. Clarity, communication, queen of swords at the bottom of the deck. So this could be somebody communicating, making things right. Maybe things are stuck because there is no communication with the ace of swords. Tell me about this ace of swords. Maybe somebody needs to break the silence in order to move things along why is what can you tell me about this ace of swords what can you tell me about the ace of swords yeah knight of wands exactly what's this judgment interesting see what i'm, I'm saying here with uh, the ace of swords and the knight of wands is like this communication is going to move things forward or someone someone's going to be able to move where they can't move right now like they can't make a move right now but that's what they want to do and you recently had a reading Aries. I think the title said something about setting off a chain of, of events or setting things in motion or something like that. A conversation that moves things along. I think this is a continuation of that rating. This could be a call of some sort. This could be um, a big uh, conversation with the Ace of Swords. So why, okay, and the what you should know, we have the Eight of Cups reverse, which could mean a return, but this could also mean something similar at the, as this chariot reverse, someone that's prevented or unable to leave a situation or unable to leave, period. So let's see what this is about. Why is the Eight of Cups reverse with the Three of Swords reverse? Why is the Eight of Cups reverse with the Three of Swords reverse? the world yeah this is all connected you get one more for the eight of cups reverse and the three of swords reverse five of wands the magician at the bottom of the deck so what i'm seeing here is something very similar to that reading i was just talking about aries feel free to check that one out if this resonates for you but I feel like this is all leading to a new cycle. However, it's not going to be easy. I feel if there is a third party, then of course it makes sense, right? It's not going to be an easy um, start. Someone's manifesting this with a magician, making this happen. But, you know, I feel like the third party or whatever's interfering between you and this person, I feel like it's going to be, uh, it's going to cause delays. Perhaps someone is stuck in a situation they don't want to be in, but that, you know, the reality is they're stuck, right? Can I get one more for the world? Why is the world here? Tell me about the world. The chariot, yeah, exactly. And the eight of swords. Someone is unable, yeah, there's a ten of wands. Someone is unable to move. 
They're unable to leave a situation, to make a move, to move forward, etc. They're stuck. Um, and it's because of, there's another burden here. And there's the Three of Pentacles after this card, the Ten of Wands. So, yeah, I feel like th there is possibly a third party here. And I think you had a reading. I think this is all like... Yeah, the, you had a reading for the month of October. The third party is a problem is like the title of that reading. I think this is a continuation of all of that Aries. I think this is an ongoing situation. Okay, so what do you need to know about the person that you're dealing with? We have the Queen of Cups and the Three of Wands. What do we need to know about this Three of Wands and Queen of Cups? we need to know king of pentacles what do we need to know about the three of wands and the queen of cups the devil yeah capricorn energy with the devil tell me about the devil again more um cards about restriction being stuck tell me about the devil yep so this person um the person you're dealing with is i feel the one in the third party aries yep ten of wands there's the emperor i feel like this person could be married or has you know burdens obligations a life that's far from you that they're far from you this person um it doesn't have to be you know distance wise but i mean like you're you're in two different paths right this person and, and you are not together, I don't feel. And it's almost like this person is waiting or watching from a distance. I, I got that energy when I saw the Three of Wands here with the Queen of Cups. And I think they're watching from a distance and keeping tabs on you or admiring you from afar because their current situation isn't a good one. This person is very stuck. This person has a lot going on in their life with the three of swords ten of wands and the devil like this is not someone that's doing well at all this is something that's taken its toll this is a situation that probably went from bad to worse <laughs> or is very painful difficult for them um this is not somebody that's happy this is somebody that feels a heavy weight on their shoulders um, and i feel like because they're in this current situation they can't help but think of other things better things um what you know maybe they're even thinking about the past tell me about this queen of cups tell me about the queen of cups why is the queen of cups here yeah so in their mind they would make you an offer knight of pentacles What's justice about? Because I feel like something could, something must have happened between you and this person. Now, Aries, this could be somebody that you don't know. For example, this could be somebody that is in this situation right now and is I idealizing a partner, thinking of a partner that they want to be with, fantasizing about being happy with someone else, whoever you know that may be and you cross paths at some point in the next three months so it could very well be you have not met this person yet that's a possibility but i feel like most of you have a past with this person um because i feel like there's someone that's been kind of on the out um how do i say this they they've kind of been i forgot the word but it's almost like they even though they're not in your life they've been hovering around it if that makes sense um and i feel like someone only hangs around or emotionally lingers when there's already a past tell me about justice what can you tell me about justice and i think you know this person it, yeah, so basically what I'm getting here is you're meant to be with this person with the Three of Cups and Justice. This reunion is meant to happen. That, that would be the right thing. Um, that would make things balanced and fair and justice for you to reunite with this person, to be with this person. 
that cannot happen unless somebody decides to talk or unless this person decides to break the ice. Like let's say, you know, you work with this person or this person and you meet at some point in the next three months and you know, you start talking about something random and this person walks away and they have you on their mind. This person is hard for them to talk to you because they're not supposed to be talking to you. They are already involved somewhere else. So whether you have a past with this person and there's a third party now, or whether you meet this person in the future um, and something develops, they're not supposed to be talking to you no matter which scenario you fall under. Strength, Leo energy here. I feel like someone would need to be strong enough, courageous enough to do what's right to balance the situation and you know it's kind of um it's kind of difficult because this third party could be um another um like a spouse this third party could also be someone like uh like a parent or a, fa a familial obligate obligation um so it doesn't necessarily have to be another partner but i think for a lot of you, this person's married and they that's just going to complicate everything, right? Like that. And, and, and if you are resonating with this reading along with the reading that I was talking about, about the third party being a problem, then you know, based on that title, the third party is a problem, aka they're not going to go down easily or they're not going to remove themselves easily. They're going to make things even more difficult for this person. So, you know, keep that in mind that if you are dealing with someone married, it's going to take time and it's not going to be easy. But I feel what what's happening here in the next three months is a shift that is taking place because someone has decided to break the silence. You know, this has to happen in order for someone to be able to make a move of some sort it's almost like if they were to talk to you and you said oh i'm very interested in you as long as you're not married we can move forward well then that's like the green light this person needs and then they set things in motion for this is just an example but that's kind of what i'm seeing here someone that after they talk to you gets some sort of confirmation or motivation to make a move to become unstuck so that's what i see here in the next three months aries otherwise i'll leave it here aries thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the reading hit that like button subscribe so you can see more readings from me and i'll see you all in another video very soon take care